In today's video, I am going to experiment if this 8 watt solar panel can power an audio amplifier board and at what volume we can comfortably play music without it shutting down. Here are the specs for this solar panel. You can pause the video if you need more time to study it. I'm going to use this 60 watt mono amplifier board that uses the TPA3118 chip, which I used before in one of my videos. Link in the description if you want to check that out. We have a 3.5mm audio input with two 1K resistors to mix down the stereo coming from our audio source to mono, because obviously this is a mono amplifier. On the left are some wires that I soldered for the audio output. Right above those is the input for the power source, which can be anywhere between 12 volts to 24 volts DC. This is a digital amp and a voltmeter that I put together to help me monitor the voltage coming in from the solar panel and also how much current is being used by the audio amplifier. I could have used the same power source to power the display for the digital meter but I decided it's better to have its own battery. This long wire is the output voltage so this will be connected to the power input of the amplifier board. First, we'll place the solar panel out in the sun, and it's just past noon, just in case you are wondering what time I'm doing this test. Time to plug in the solar panel to the digital meter and see what we're getting. Right now, it's displaying 12.9 volts, and the amperage is still at zero, and that's because there is no load, which in this case, it's the audio amplifier. Before we plug in the solar panel, we'll attach some alligator clips to the audio output of the amplifier. Now attach the other end of the alligator clips to the speaker wires. The inside part is the positive and the outside is the negative. Connect the solar panel to the amplifier board and now we have the LED lighting up, indicating that we have power. Let's check the digital meter and see how much voltage we have going in. The voltage from the solar panel has dropped and that's because we have a load and the amplifier is pulling around 50 to 60 milliamp. Before we test it with music, we need to connect one more thing, which is the aux wire, to both the audio amplifier and our sound source, which will be this mobile device. Let's give this a try and I will get back to you on what I think about the results. Thank you. 
So during the test, I have noticed that the voltage is stable in the beginning, but it drops down at a certain point when the song has a lot of bass. So I was going to stop here, but I wanted to test it one more time, but with a capacitor added to the input power of the amplifier board. The capacitor is rated at 16 volts, 2200 microfarad. That means I can't go higher than 16 volts, which is okay because the solar panel maximum power is not even close to 16 volts. So that is the only thing I added to the board. I tried it the next day in the morning, but it was cloudy the whole time, but that's okay. It's a good test to see how it performs in this type of weather condition. It's 8.26 AM and we are getting a little bit of sunlight, but not that strong. So without the amplifier board being connected, we get about 12.1 volts. But when it's connected, we get 11.8 volts and it's pulling around 40 milliamp of current. Let's start at a lower volume and then work our way up to whatever volume the solar panel starts struggling to produce enough power. So in conclusion, I can say the capacitor helps with this setup and you are able to play music with this amplifier on a cloudy day, on a low volume of course. You can add a battery to make it more stable but that will require a lot more electronics to make it happen and plus, that's not the purpose of this experiment. Okay everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And also please consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Anyways, thank you for watching and hope to have you again in my future videos. Peace.